Okay, so I decided I want to try my hand at sourdough starter that's gluten-free. And mm. Bob's Red Mill has a great tutorial, it seems like, for this. So I'm gonna follow it step by step. They actually, you can sign up for an email list and they will email you each day what you're supposed to do. So day one was four fluid ounces of 85 degree water and four fluid ounces of unbleached white flour. So I'm using Bob's Red Mill gluten-free one-to-one baking flour. And then um, the hardest part, <laughs> which you'd be like, why is this hard? Um, was making sure the water was 85 degrees. So I just used my oven thermometer and measured the water. You could even use just like a thermometer that you use to check your own temperature, right? So anyways, um, it just took me a minute to be like, how am I gonna do that? But I just woke up, so that's fine. Anyways, here we are. Now we let it sit for 18 to 24 hours. So see you tomorrow morning. Okay, day two, super simple. Scrape the sides, give it a stir, and a little scrape, make sure nothing's worked up the top. And then put your top back on. So they call for like a cheesecloth or a towel or whatever. I'm just using a coffee filter and then a little rubber band. A little difficult one handed, but that's where we're at. Day two. Come on, gluten free sourdough. Hey, friends. Okay, so things are starting to get real with my gluten free sourdough. Um, it is starting to look bubbly, started to look bubbly kind of yesterday. And um, I made a little line here just for like my own knowledge, like how much it's puffed up. So you can see it's almost doubled in size, kind of almost over like. It kind of gets higher over here. Anyways, um, so today's day three, and this is when stuff gets real on what we need to do to the sourdough starter. So I need to remove four ounces of the sourdough starter to start with, which is about half a cup. Um, and, you know, oh, it's cool. Like, it's way, can you see in there? It's way, um, it's a different texture than I thought it would be. Let me show you this. It's kind of, it's kind of like hard. Um, not like hard, hard, but it's like harder than what I thought it would be. I thought it would be more doughy. I've never made a starter before. So, um, I have water. I have, what is it? Four ounces of water ready. Um, it's filtered water and it's half of a cup another four ounces. Um, and if you have a scale, this is best done with the scale. Sorry, the baby's like pushing me. Hannah's is here, but she's trying to get my attention. Okay. So flour's in, water's in, I've mixed it. And I just use this, like, it's a sandwich scraper, like a two-sided scraper, a little spatula thing that I got from like a pampered chef party. And it's, it's kind of perfect for this because it can scrape down all the stuff really easily and fits in this jar pretty nice. So, okay, so it's all in. Now, you're supposed to cover it with a cheesecloth or a clean towel, but I haven't been doing that. I've been using a coffee filter. Um, I saw that on like another show, so I just put that over it and then I secure it with a rubber band that I got from my berries I bought. And here we are. So it's back almost at the same size um, that it was maybe a little bit bigger than what it was before I did this. So now we leave it for another 18 to 24 hours and kind of just see, see what happens. It does say tips. There will be quite a bit of waste when building sourdough. This is necessary to so the sourdough does not get too large um, to easily maintain and use. So I guess... Since I just split my sourdough in half, I could make a second one and then I would have two going. Should I do that? I don't know. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to just in case one fails. I don't even know if that's a thing. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to okay, do it. Okay, day four. So here is where we're at. We need to add four ounces of 85 degree water and four ounces of of flour. Yesterday, when I took my scrapings, um, like my discard, I put it in this small mason jar and it um, 
it's too small. You can't, you can't use this size mason jar for this. Um, because I can't, I can't add, um, I can't add w enough water and flour into here. So don't use a small one. Like you definitely need a bigger, um, a bigger jar. Okay. So I've put the water in both of them. Now I'm going to do four ounces of flour. Yeah. See how, see how like, check that out. Like there's no way. Come on. That's crazy. But if you were going to give some of your, um, some that you were taking out and give it away to somebody else so that they can make a starter, that would be fine to like transfer it to them that way, you know, but not, um, you can't add, like you can't keep maintaining a starter in that small of a jar. Like you definitely need something at least this big to do it. So just going to mix, scrape down the sides and then cover again today. Day four, here we go. Okay, day five. We are to remove one fourth of a cup of the sourdough. Okay. Then we add a cup of water at 85 degrees per usual and half a cup of flour. Just gonna that out of for a second. Okay, things that I wish on day five that I had known on day one. One, I wish I had a food seal because everything is in ounces and I'm doing it in cups and I think it's gonna be fine, but you know, my food scale died before all this COVID mess and I just haven't bought one online. <laughs> so anyways, I wish I had a food scale and that would be very helpful. Um, and that's really the only thing I wish I had. <laughs> So, we just stir, 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 stir. Make sure you get the bottom. I almost missed stirring the bottom yesterday. Um, so, then I just like pick it up and I look at the bottom of the actual mason jar to make sure there isn't anything under there that doesn't look like it. There's my baby. Um, just to make sure everything looks like it's been moved around. Right. Okay, so scrape down the sides. And then again, I'm just using a coffee filter. You can use cheesecloth, a little towel, rubber band. And then I've been marking just because I think it's interesting to see how big or how small it is. So I've been marking. So I'll mark day five right there. See you guys tomorrow. Check out some recipes for sourdough. Can't wait to see what I'm gonna make. Okay, friends, we're on day six and wowzers. It is like so full. Yesterday it was right here when we started and then look how much it's grown today. Okay, so we are gonna remove two ounces, which is a fourth of a cup. Okay. It's definitely smelling like a sourdough, so that's kind of cool. Okay, and then we add four ounces or half of a cup. Wow, this is gonna be super full. And today's day six, so I'm glad we're gonna be able to discard some tomorrow. Okay, and then half a cup or four ounces of that 85 degree or 55 degree water. Sorry, pardon me. 55 degree water. Yesterday and today were 55 degree water. I said 85 by accident. Okay. And then again, I really like this um, little spatula with this 
mason jars because I feel like it can get in all the nooks and crannies and it's small enough to get in the, um, into it, right? Like if it was, if I was using one of my regular spatulas, I wouldn't be able to get into the whole mouth of the jar. So we're just gonna stir it, scrape down the sides, just the regular gig, okay. <laughs> Put on our covering, whatever it may be. Cheese cloth, coffee filter, clean towel. Okay, and then we're gonna let it sit for 18 to 24 hours. Again, I've been doing the 24 hour gig. Um, and then tomorrow is like a big day. Tomorrow we do the same thing that we just did, but then we also have to decide if we're gonna be using it within 24 hours and how we want to store it, refrigerator or on the counter. So I think we're gonna be a refrigerator store. Um, but we are going to do something. We're going to make something. So, um, I'm excited to make something with it. Here we go. Okay, friends. Day seven. Dun, da, da, da. So now we remove two ounces of, oh, it smells tart. Two ounces of sourdough. We add four ounces of 55 degree water and four ounces of the Bob's Red Mill one-to-one. -one. Okay, now we do our normal mix and scrape. This is day seven, so now we move to maintaining our sourdough. Um, I, I'm gonna use this, sorry, my three-year-old. Um, I'm gonna use this in 24 hours to make some sourdough bread. And then I'm going to go to a maintenance in the refrigerator. So that's that's my game plan. I might also try and make sourdough pancakes just for, just for the fun of it. So all mixed, all scraped down. Well, not yet. All scraped down. I'm, I put it on a little paper plate because I'm mildly nervous about <laughs> it overflowing, which is like, it happens, right? So, coffee filter, rubber bands, 18 to 24 hours, and then we can start using it. Bum, 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 bum. 